COVID-19 has hit small and medium companies hard. What measures have you taken to help SMEs, which make up 98% of the business establishments in Hong Kong and employ about 45% of the workforce in the private sector? Reducing fees and charges, providing, providing financial support is one. The other approach is to provide them with liquidity support. They can go to the bank to apply for loans guaranteed by the government 100%. And then in view of the prolonged COVID attack, we increase the amount up to 27 months of salary and rental, up to a maximum amount of $9 million. And we provide them with repayment holiday. So after obtaining the loan, they do not need to repay the principal immediately. They just surface the interest. And the repayment period is pretty long, can be up to 10 years. Following the 2019 turmoils, there have been reports that Hong Kong's status as an international financial center has been challenged. What will you do to alleviate those concerns? If I may share with you some figures uh, about the situation now uh, as compared to before. After the enactment of the national security law, actually the number of companies listed on our stock exchange and the number and total amount raised by them over 500 billion Hong Kong dollar. Very impressive. The asset under management in 2020 gone up to 34 trillion Hong Kong dollars and increased by over 21%. And recently, the International Monetary Fund came to Hong Kong in January, did an assessment praising Hong Kong's international financial status and the resilience of our financial system. The Hong Kong financial sector, despite the chaos in 2019, despite the COVID situation in the past two years, has grown a lot. The Hong Kong government has put a lot of focus on developing the green economy, including issuing green bonds. What's the thinking behind that? Going into the future, green and sustainable finance is a key. Being an international financial center, I think we are very well positioned to guide international capital to match them with green projects. Uh, so far, we have issued green bonds to the equivalent value of 10 billion US dollar. And last year, we have expanded the size of this green bond issuance to attract more foreign capital. Say, for example, last February, the issue size of about 4 billion US dollar. At that time, that was the largest issue by Asian government in terms of green bonds. And last year, we also experiment issuing retail green bonds because in order to achieve green economy, the buy-in from the general public is very important. And from a financial inclusion perspective, it would be good if they can participate in these green bonds and get a decent return. Uh, last year, the Shenzhen municipal government came here to issue renminbi bonds to the order of five billion, oversubscribed, uh, overwhelming support. Uh, part of it is green bonds. So uh, we are very confident this platform will serve uh, the GBA and our country well in terms of channeling uh, international funds to support the green transition.